Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. Let's do three quick HSM Works tips here, and this is revision four. So uh, there's three other videos uh, behind this one if you haven't had a chance to uh, to look at those. And of course, you're always welcome to leave a comment on the on the video, on the blog, or you can always email me at Lars at CatCamStuff.com. Let's jump into uh, to SolidWorks here and do some HSM Works. So um, I got this uh, part here, and I'm just gonna use free access for this one, but you can actually use um, two and a half axis too if you want to but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some tool path on this one so let me go in here and add some adaptive clearing right let's rough some some out here and I'm gonna go into to the tool library and I have a couple of different cutters I'm gonna select this bull nose and here's tip number one be lazy when you're working with CAD and CAM, right? There's no reason to travel all the way down here to the select button. They're so far down there. You can actually just select your tool, right click, and just hit select right there. And then you're all done. So uh, don't travel all the way down when you're going to select your tool. Tip number one. Tip number two is now where I've selected uh, this uh, free axis adaptive roughing, I'm going to go over and just select my boundary here, what I want it to stay within. And a new feature for 2015 uh, that I don't want you to forget about is if you go into uh, the linking tab here, they have now added that you can add a angle to your lead in when you're doing a helix. So almost like a funnel shape. So the two degrees will, will control the helix down, right? But then you can actually add also this funnel. So if I add like eight degrees here and I hit the green check mark, you will see that when it creates these tool path that we kind of like getting a funnel shape when we're going in so that's really good when you're roughing uh down and, and again with adaptive clearing you can really uh, get that uh, cutter you know screaming with, with some high feet rate so that's a really neat feature that they add in there so that's tip number two don't forget about um about that that you can that you can use that funnel on the linking tab so that was right click edit and there's the last tab over there the linking that's the one that does everything that is when the tool is not engaged with the material or is, is engaging so that's sitting right down there don't forget to check these out now the last tip i'm going to give you is what i think is a pretty neat uh, feature especially when you're working uh, on a part like this where you're doing three axes where you need to maybe throw a different tool path on it so you can actually use derived parts a tool path so what i can do you saw that i selected this roughing strategy and you saw that i selected that boundary now if i right click on this roughing strategy uh, then i can actually go down and say create derived operation and if i go into my 3d milling you will now see that i have all the different tool paths that you would uh, that that we have in in the standard drop down. What is neat about this is that when I go in and select something like parallel, for example, it's using all those settings uh, that I that I already had for my roughing. So when I go in and select another tool, what it will do is it will now use that boundary. It will use any stock you set up and so forth. So that's a, a quick way to apply multiple tool paths. So if you gotta create some quick tool path, you know, you selected your boundaries, using this derived uh, can really quickly let you just go on to, to add more tool paths. So if I, for example, go in here and select the contour, we will also, and I can use the same tool, just hit the green check mark, and I will now give the, the contour tool path that is following that. Now, they are just copied, so they are not uh, derived in the manner that if I changing one, then the other one will follow. So that's a good thing, right? So it's just a quick way to get the tool path on there. But then, of course, if you want to tweak them, like step over and, and different things, uh, then you can you can go in individually and, and fix them. So three uh, quick tips. Don't forget, right mouse button inside of HSM works. There's so many great features on the right mouse button. Number two, don't forget about that taper new option on the Helix. And the last one, this uh, uh, right clicking and uh, creating derived uh, operations is really powerful to, so you don't have to sit and select the same geometry over and over again, really making you be able to throw some tool paths on quick. So I hope you like this. Um, if you uh, have any comments, again, don't forget, you're always welcome to either comment or email me at lasek.camstuff.com. Hope you have a great day and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.